quiet. I'm not hunting arowana. I'm not John. Where are they? Where's the arowana? Alright, we're gonna pass this around like a Indian peace pipe. Scott McLaughlin, King Queen Cichlids. Hey, it's Jay Wilson from uh, Jay Wilson. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. <laughs> I'm Brad Cross from the River Life YouTube channel. I have the time of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Have a nice it's Lisa with KG Tropicals and I'm here with Jay Wilson. <laughs> Elizabeth from King and Queen Cichlids here with everybody. <laughs> Alright guys, we're on our way to House of Tropicals. Let's go! It's your boy Scott from King Queen Cichlids bringing you yet another new video. Whew, I'm a little tired. I just got done doing our Sunday live feed. We got about 95 people in our chat. We are so close to breaking that 100 person in our chat number. If you haven't come to our chat, please check us out every Sunday night at 8 o'clock. We want to bust that 100 mark number real soon and you guys out there can help us do it. Now, John from KG Tropicals and Rack from River Life have already dropped their video about their experiences, our experiences we had Saturday called the Monster Weekend. I take some liberties with my videos because John and Rack have already done uh, a really good tour of all the stores we went to. So I'm going to kind of pick and choose what I'm going to highlight and show you guys because I like big cichlids. And if you're subscribed to my channel, so do you. So I'm going to show you some of the highlights I saw when I went to the three stores with these incredible people. I hope this video gives you at least 50% of what it really was because it was, as Rack said, a monster weekend. So let's check it out. KG Tropicals. We're hunting arowanas. They don't have any? They don't have any? Oh, no. oh my god, if I don't get a 10,000 views for that booty alone. Really? Wow. Alright, I'm sorry, 10 million. And these are the large blue Akara. These Severums are nice, honey. You are so right. These say red spotted gold Severums. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I was calling that that one picture Chris did a red Severum? You were right. I know, I know you hate. I know you love hearing that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All she heard was that you were right. Yep. <laughs> I was content with that. It didn't have to be about what. Just yeah, you're right. right. That's all I need. Look at these peacock bass. My telescope's bigger than John's. Is this a competition? <laughs> There's the arowanas. Oh, the little ones? Yeah. <laughs> Those are cute though, look at them. Yeah. And they're all together. 70 bucks. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I gotta get footage of marijuana because I am uh, <laughs> we're doing the 10 things on it. So John, there are arowanas, but a little small, right? Yeah. Alright. I mean, if this was all we had, then you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But right. these yep. fish would get lost in my tank. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, not for long. Maybe in a year. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but it's a, it's a low I, I don't. I have patience, but I don't know if I have that kind of patience. <laughs> also true. 
Alright, for my fans that like something really different, this is really different. I haven't seen this. Red Crystal Parrot Cichlid. There's nothing but rows and rows of fish tanks, just tanks. Uh, it's amazing. Come to House of Tropics, House of Tropicals, in Glen Burnie, Maryland. You won't regret it. Great store, great fish, and every single product that you could ever want is in this store. This is a top level store here, guys. Every aquatic need you have, you could have is in here. Check out those rams. Are they not beautiful or what? Good God, I'm sorry for the glare, guys, but these are absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna have to pull out my old man glasses because I cannot see what this says. Gold base electric blue rams. How gorgeous are those? My God. Oh. All right, Aqua Funk, I'm gonna shout you out this one time. We got some really nice angels here. Flower horn lovers. That's a pretty nice looking one. Extra large golden flower horn. I know my purists out there are going to be giving me hell, but it's pretty impressive looking. So this is a pretty freaking awesome fish, the Giardini arowana. Love this species of arowana. This is like the closest you're gonna get to an Asian arowana, because they're not legal in the United States. Asian arowanas have a little more color to them, but the body shape and the mannerisms very, very close. Absolutely right. Oh, just hand me the wallet. Yes, sir. And do you have a phone number in the computer? Those are racks. I saw. Nope, yeah. So is that your, I'm going to have to check you guys out. King and Queen Cichlid. Uh huh. Hey, can I go, wait just a Excuse second. Me, can what? I get that for you guys? Oh, no. They bought our lunch and there was no hassle like this. Seriously? Uh, Rex, you're oh, too kind. Too. You're too kind, right? Sorry. This wasn't staged either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't planned. Random, uh, act, random act of kindness. A stranger comes up and buys thank you stuff. You. And I, I love you guys. Oh and God. thank you for letting me do this for you, Scott. Thank you. I appreciate you very thank much. You so much, buddy.
can give this story but me. But in 2011, Discus Ponds came to my club. We had just created it. And our very last meeting, which was our birthday celebration of one year, Discus Hans came, brought Discus, did a talk. It was the largest attended Cichlid Club of York meeting ever. And I will always be in depth to this gentleman for helping us out and bringing so many people to our club because our club basically took off after that one meeting with Discus Hans. So. Lifetime achievement from the NADA, the North American Discus Association. And that's well, the one I'm the most proud of. So. Well deserved. Most proud of, but it's standing somewhere on the shelf. <laughs> saying in the live feed. Without getting them from the wild. And they're, they're hardier. Well, in my opinion, they're hardier for an aquarium, you know, breadfish. This place is fantastic. Thank you so much, Discus Hans, for letting us come into your store, your warehouse, and see how discus really should be done. Fantastic. Boy Scott, King Queen Cichlids. We are in Lucky's Aquarium. 
in Baltimore, Maryland. This place is incredible. This store has the kind of fish I love. Big Central and South American cichlids, arowanas, just about everything you can think of. I just passed some huge gobies. Really cool store. I am definitely getting some stuff out of here. For sure. Check that out, guys. Bard Midas. Beautiful. Well, I never understand why people like flower horns. That's just that's exactly what it tells me. Look at the finish. Beautiful. He's ready to go to the Keystone Clash right now. Beautiful. Lots of good compartment. Great looking food. Alright guys, for you hybrid lovers out there, I gotta show you this fish because it's absolutely spectacular. A red tiger moto and feste uh, hybrid. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, I am not an advocate for hybrids, but I gotta tell you folks, this guy is pretty freaky amazing. I can see why people enjoy hybrids. Again, we don't need to pollute pure species by creating our own species. But this guy, this guy is amazing. Everybody loves Pacos when they're small. This is what they look like when they get big guys. So be prepared to get these, these Pacos to get huge in size. You're going to get sharp teeth and they will bite you. Come on close to get a picture back. Uh, I'm assuming these are like albinos or platinums. Must be albinos, they have red eyes. Absolutely spectacular looking Pacos. If you're a Paku lover, This should look familiar to you guys because it's a Chan show just like the one I have at home. This one's even bigger than mine. He is spectacular. Follow me. Minus Oscars. <laughs> Gars and KG Tropicals John Hudson behind us. <laughs> That looks like a snook. That, that is, is a snook. Yeah, that's not. That's <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Look at these peacock bass behind us. A hundred bucks. Not bad at all. Guard. That's it's super cheap, cheap for the size of the peacocks they are. This is what I got. Forget everything else. I got to get this trial. Anatoly. All right, guys. I came in here to get a Giardini Arowana. Forget that. I'm a cichlid guy. I just saw one of my favorite Ampelophus trimactus. 75 bucks. You can't beat it. His finish is outstanding. He's in great condition. And guess what? We're picking him up today. This is Danny, the owner of Lucky Aquarium. I finally found the Antelope's Tribe Magnus I've been looking for 
It's gorgeous, and it's ready for the Keystone Clash right now. We're going to win. Can't sell this one? The one that says not for sale. <laughs> 